Hey guys, it's Miss Sebastian, and we're going to look at read and writing um, algebraic expressions, and this is part one. So, which expression represents the word phrase? So, this is a little different from some other stuff that we've looked at. Okay, and this, you are just going to read what the problem says and write it out. So, if I look at this one, it says 25... Decreased, hmm, decreased. If the money in my pocket was decreased, let's say I had $5 and it was decreased by 1, I would subtract. Decreased means subtract by the sum. Okay, sum means add of 6 in a number. Okay, but it's decreased by the sum of those two. So I have to do the sum first. So I'm going to have to put parentheses around those. So 25 decreased by the sum of 6 and a number in. So here is my answer. Number 2. Which expression represents this word phrase? 15 divided by a number, and then decreased by 2. So the first thing it wants us to do is 15 divided by a number. So I can do that, 15 divided by a number. And then decreased by 2. But how do I make sure that my first part is done first. 15 divided by a number and then decreased by 2. So I want to make sure that 15 divided by a number is done first. So I need to put parentheses around this so that I make sure that that is done first. So I'm going to choose that option. Number three, which expression represents this word phrase? The quotient of 75 and the difference of a number and 10. Okay, the quotient. Quotient means divide. Okay, so I'm going to say, okay, 75 divided by the difference of a number and 10. So it's going to have me divide by a number and 10, and the difference is subtract. So x minus 10, or you could have n there. I just use x because it was one of the choices. Okay, so 75 divided by the difference of x minus 10. Okay, the reason I put parentheses around x minus 10 is because it was dividing by the difference. So I had to do the difference first. So to make sure that it does go first, I put that parentheses around it. Okay, so this one's a little hard to see. It says 2 divided by n plus 3. So I need to figure out which word phrase represents this expression. The quotient of 3 and the sum of n plus 3? Well, 3 is not on top, so I know that's not it. Okay, the quotient of 3 and the sum, I know that's not it because 3 is not on top. I have 2 on top and 2 on top, so those are good options. And so now I've got to look at this. It says the sum of n and 3 or the sum of n and 2. So down here I have the sum of n and 3. So this is going to be my best option. Okay, so which word phrase represents this expression? 2 times the quantity of 3 minus x. Okay, so the first one says the difference of 3 and x. 
Well, if I was to write that out, it would be like that. And that's not what our expression says, so I know that's not my option. Okay, the next one, it says three times the difference of two and x. Well, that's kind of close, but it's not quite the same thing that we have up there, so that's not going to be our option. The next one says the difference of 3 and 2 times x. Hmm. That's not quite it either. Let's look at our last one. Our last one says twice the difference of 3 and x. So twice the difference of 3 and x. Yes, that is what we were looking for. So that is our answer. Which expression represents this word phrase? The difference, which means subtract, of 3 and twice a number. Well, twice a number would be 2 times the number. So the difference of 3 and twice a number would be 3 minus 2n. Which expression represents the word phrase? 1 third of, that means times, the difference. The difference means that I'm going to be subtracting something before I multiply. So I need to put parentheses around that between 10 and a number. So my answer is going to be 1 one third times the difference between 10 and a number. Which word phrase represents this expression? 500 divided by n plus 1. So let's look at our options. We've got one more than the quotient of 500 and n. So one more would mean plus 1 the quotient of 500 and n. So that one looks like it could be it. So I'm going to put a check there, but let's keep checking. Okay, the next one says n more than, so n more than the quotient of 501. So that can't be it. The next one says 500 more than the quotient of n. Not really sure what n's divided by, probably just 1, but that can't be it. The next one says the quotient of 500 and n and 1. So that can't be it either. So our option, our, sorry, our correct answer is A, the first one. If you need some videos to help you on these, there are two up on the board. And this should help you with writing algebraic expressions.